Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Let's talk about double mastectomies in companies who want to use them. Let's talk about first about Dr. Martin here. So as you can see, these the boots are showing the double mastectomy right here, right? Okay. Now this company is known for this kind of stuff, right? I've seen this. I went to their their Twitter, I went through all their business stuff, and this is not, this is normal for them, right? Here's the issue, right? There's another company that decided to do the same thing, got a completely different response, and I bet you're wondering why. It's this company right here. Costa Express, one of the, it says it's the UK's largest coffee company. A lot of people had an issue with this, and in fact, they went to a point where they're boycotting, as you can see in this title here. So what's the problem? The problem is, guys, when people talk about double mastectomies, there is always a problem that accompanies that, whether it's trans or whether it's somebody who had to have it removed or whether it's women who had to have it removed because there was something going on, possibly cancer or an infection or something like that, or something went wrong with the surgery, right? So either way, you can't glamorize having a double mastectomy because if somebody's doing it because they want to be a man, Something's going on, right? There's a mental illness going on up there. That the fact that they hate their breasts and they want them removed, and so they decide that they want to do that to become a different sex or become um, a different gender and identify as something completely different. There's something going on. Something may have caused that to happen to them. And the same thing when somebody has to have it removed because they had an infection, they had breast cancer, or they had something else going on. So we do never, we never need to go to the point where we have to start glamorizing this stuff. I think what some of these companies do, and I really don't know the conversations that go on. Some of them are doing it because y'all heard about Vanguard and all that stuff. Let's take them out of the equation for a second. Let's talk about some people who do it because they think that they're being inclusive. They're being diverse. What they don't under understand, and I understand you can't please everybody, but they're not understanding that the only reason to get a double mastectomy is because something is going wrong, either mentally, emotionally, or physically. For a person to want to do that, and they tend to just take all that out because they think they're being, they're accepting everybody. You got to understand a very small part of the population is trans anyway. Why don't you care about the vast majority of your women who go to this coffee shop? Why don't you show something for them? There is no need to be inclusive because it's, it's, it's always like these companies are, feel like somebody's telling them, y'all have to do this. If you don't do it, there's something wrong with you. Knowing that you're going to alienate the vast majority of your company, even if a whole Five people came up and they're trans and they're like, you got to do this. We don't feel in, we don't feel inclusive here. You tell them, sorry. Move on. Because they're not going to, at the end of the day, they're not going to affect your bottom line. They're really not. If that's something you truly believe in, fine. Now, that means you have to be willing to die on that hill if you try to go this way and alienate a lot of your fan, a lot of your customer base. But just show some kind of sympathy. I'll say this right quickly. Um. Where people want to donate to the channel, all the money goes back to the channel. Here my cash app is. Um, what can I change? TSS. So if you want to do this, all the money goes back to the channel. Just to improve production. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Enough of that. Okay. Another problem I have with all this kind of stuff. Some of these companies, and like I said, if we take Vanguard and all those guys out of it. Some of these companies that have a little bit more autonomy. Who don't have that kind of investors. I understand always wanting to push the LGBT, always feeling like they're a marginalized group, feeling like they're always left out. Here's my thing is, why do y'all pick them? There is hundreds and hundreds of groups, but y'all always tend to go either LGBT or black people. Let's be honest with ourselves. It's very rare that I see anything else. Sometimes I see Hispanic pride and stuff like that, but it's always blacks, LGBT. Why do you feel like you always have to push that just to show that you care? You don't. Just be a human to every human being. Instead of putting up that picture, put up a picture of a coffee cup. Something we can all relate to. I don't drink coffee, but a lot of people do. Just show, hey, you want to come down here, have some coffee, do that. Because everybody wants to be an activist. If you want to be an activist, cool. If you want to stand on this hill and be like, yeah, we're going to do this. We don't care about our customers. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to make as much money as possible. Okay, fine. Fine. Deliver the results. Because what a lot of these companies can't handle is when they decide to go this route and they're like, no, we're going to do trans everything. This is what we're going to do. We don't care what our customers think. This is what we truly believe in. Fine. 
But what ends up happening, they do this and then they go crying and they start whining and being like, you people are just transphobic. And all. No, 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 no. They weren't asking for you to even stand on the hill of being against trans. They didn't ask you to get on any hill. They just told you to serve coffee. You decided you want to take it po political or you decided you wanted to take it to an activist standpoint. Fine. But you live with the results. Don't start crying about it now. You live with the results. If you feel like now that a lot of the women who go to your thing feel like they you don't care about them, fine. You die on the hill and be like, I know um, we lost a lot of our customers, but, you know, this is just what we believe and what it could continue forward. Fine. Lose all of those people and do what you got to do. Deal with the monetary loss. I hope it's worth it. But don't start getting on that hill and then start crying about people being transphobic and not want to do with that. Because you know what you sound like? You sound like everybody's supposed to just do whatever you want. They're supposed to buy your coffee no matter what you say. You can come out and say, um, I hate black people and then be like, but oh, you guys are just white phobic or whatever you want to call that. It's like, it's just silly. You can't get on something that strong, something that is always a hot topic. And then when some people don't agree with it and you lose money, you immediately go screaming transphobic as if that's going to do anything. Calling transphobic doesn't make it better. People are not going to start showing up because you know what? To this point, people don't care about being called transphobic. You call them transphobic, they're like, okay, cool. I'll never come back. You know? That's what people are going to start doing. And that's what people are doing. You call them transphobic all you want. It, you want to bully people into buying your coffee? It ain't going to work. People are like, well, I'll just go somewhere else. Because that's what y'all say. If you don't like our coffee, you don't want to do this for trans people, go somewhere else. And when they do, y'all start crying? Mm -mm, that ain't going to work. Well, let me know y'all think in the comment section down below. For you people who watch my live streams, I know I'm making this into a video, part of the video. But you guys who watch my live streams, all the videos you're going to see um, or are seen up to this point, we're all pre-made. I'm taking a week off to get ready because, you know, I got to go back to work, um, getting ready for school and got to do a lot of paperwork. So just going to get all that stuff prepared. I'll be gone for a week and then I'll be back next week. We'll be right back at it. Um, and I'll try to get back to my normal schedule. So I'm just taking a week off and get mentally prepared and get ready for that because I'm going to have to be doing this while doing school while also finishing my degree. So I'm going to have a lot going on. So I'm just going to take a quick um, just get ready, get myself ready to go, get everything organized to where I'm not in chaotic. And so I'm going to take the week to do that. And then we'll be back by the time you guys get ready for school, uh, for you people who are going to college. All right. I'll see you guys then. Or I guess your kids are going back to school too. So anyway, love you guys. Thank you for all the support, man. I'm loving all the support and all the comments. Keep them coming. Even if you disagree with me, um, it's all good. All right. See you later. Love you guys. Peace.